Cheers to you. And you. To everybody. To everybody and you. And myself, thank you. Mm -hmm. and, that, and me. And that includes you. Great, thank you. Ooh. Hello, I'm Susie Barrett, and today we're talking about the Section 504 sit-in. I'll sit in for this. I'll sit in with you. <laughs> okay, Act 1, Scene 1. A backdrop appears slowly in front of the audience's eyes. What's on this backdrop? The 50s and 60s. We got people with disabilities being treated not as normal citizens. If you're in a wheelchair, you can't just like walk into a bank and apply for a job. There's no access. They're like, uh, f you, you use a wheelchair or like, you can't see and therefore f yeah, f dude. A, a, a disability is dismissibility, basically. Put that in your pipe. I will, and I'll smoke that. Will you? I will. I like this pipe. OK. So here comes 1973. Richard Nixon signs this thing called the Rehabilitation Act. And Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act is the section that says you can't, uh, a federal uh, institution can't, like, uh, you know, discriminate against people with a disability. So Section 504 needs to be signed. So, so, so Joseph Califano, the head of the uh, Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, Hugh, <laughs> was like, well, this sounds like a lot of work. So like, what do we have to do to our buildings? What's Braille? I mean, if this is that and that is what and what this is what we're talking about and... <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so it sits there for four years and he doesn't sign it. So the American Coalition of Citizens with Disabilities headed by Dr. Frank Bow, they're like, what the f Make us equal. We have rights. We are citizens. <laughs> Sign this by April 5th or else. And else is not a frozen character. Else is f***ing disability surprise. I feel way drunker than I should be. You're all good. You're all good. <laughs> uh, okay. So the deadline, April 5th comes and it goes. And at the federal building in San Francisco, this woman, Judy Human, rolls up and doorman's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Do you need some help? Would you like some punch or maybe a cookie? And she's like, nee. uh, me and my 150 friends would actually like to roll over your ass. We're about to make a change. And this started the first protest for the disability movement. All over the nation, at all these federal buildings, protests erupt. People with disabilities are like, F you. We're going to camp out in your hallways. We're going to sit on your mother desk. But none of these protests across the country lasted more than 28 hours, except for San Francisco, where the days start dragging on and people have needs. Like, oh my God, I don't have my ventilator. I can't breathe. I don't even know why I'm speaking right now. I'm wasting oxygen. And like, the news is covering this and people start really feeling for what's happening here. And the floodgates open and you got people bringing in medicine, coming in with food, the Black Panthers show up. Everyone's sitting in, not just people with disabilities, it's allies of people with disabilities. It's veterans coming home from Vietnam being like, man, we got you. Jefferson Airplane shows up. Like, we're Jefferson Airplane. Get, you know, get your shit on. We love you. If Woodstock was in an office building and filled with wheelchairs and medical supplies, this is Woodstock. And all these people are finding a community that they hadn't had in person until now. Uh, and finally, they get the attention of Washington. So they're like, okay, okay, let's, um, let's make a little hearing and uh, we'll hear your little uh, disability complaints. 
When people start noticing that they're being dicks, then they start trying to fix their dicks. <laughs> my favorite Dr. Seuss quote. <laughs> uh, I'm so dumb. Hey. Oh, hey, Susie. Oh, hey. This is a real fucking. Uh -oh. Is that too much? No. <laughs> okay. So Judy Human gets 20 of her friends from her activist group in San Francisco, and they haul ass to Washington. Boom, we're in Washington, D.C. And she's like, if you are going to claim to be a country of the land of the free, then you have to include us in it. Otherwise, yikes, do we have a weird revolution that's about to happen. So here's Senator Alan Cranston. You know, he's nodding his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I'm so feeling it. Judy Human's not having any of it. She's like, I'd appreciate if you wouldn't act like you understand what I'm saying because you don't understand. We're going through this shit. You ain't. Party's over. Peace out. Sign the shit. Crowd goes wild. Everyone's cheering for Judy. Love it. Then Frank Bo steps up and he's like, we're not even second class citizens, we're third class citizens. And here come the tears. How do you not cry after that? You know, why would you wanna be on the side of history that categorizes people rather than the side of history that's like liberating and like, let's be the pinata. Break it and let everyone come out. Yeah, let's make, let's make candy. Yeah. Califano is like, ooh, a uh, funny thing. Uh, fine, I'll sign it. Jubilation. 504 was signed, and this opened the floodgates for the American Disabilities Act, for ramps, for braille, for everything that we know today that is for disability access. So Judy Human's people have been in the federal building in San Francisco for 26 days. And these protesters are coming out so happy, fist raise in victory. And, and they're loving it because they're having a voice in their place in history. Cheers. Cheers. To everybody. To literally everybody.